Good evening, everyone. We are saddened to report that the body discovered here this morning at Woodlawn Park appears to be that of 16-year-old Jolie Musa. Her family has been notified, and our detectives are investigating this as a homicide. Fairfax County police officers were out here this morning conducting a search in the park for a second time hoping to find Julie alive. Uh, just around 11 o'clock this morning, one of our officers discovered what appears to be her body covered by leaves and debris. The body has been taken to the office of the chief medical examiner and we are awaiting positive forensic identification. However, preliminarily, detectives believe this is the body of the missing teenager. They were able to tentatively ID her based on appearance and a tattoo. Right now, patrol officers are securing the scene here and they will remain here overnight. And our detectives are pursuing leads in this case. When we have a positive ID, we will release that. And when we can release more about this investigation, we will do that as well. What led you to search the park here for her body? And when was the first time that you searched? This is the second time that we've searched Woodlawn Park based upon investigative leads. And detectives and officers came here today to try and find Jolie alive. We're not going to get into the specifics of what led them to this park at this time. When was the first time this park was searched? I believe it was a few days after she was reported missing, but I'll need to confirm that for you. Julie, you had said uh, originally that detectives did not believe that Jolie was in danger and now this is a homicide case. Where is that disconnect? What led up to, to that determination? The night that uh, Jolie was reported missing was Saturday, January 13th, about 6.30. We uh, learned that she left on her own and there was no apparent si sign of anything being wrong. No signs of foul play whatsoever. She had left her home on her own. But she had been Snapchatting with a strange man, left with no bags, no nothing, and never came back. Um, and police, I mean, uh, the family believes that police didn't take their concerns seriously enough, I think. Detectives spent the weekend with the family uh, and had been to the home four times since she was reported missing. Um, they've worked very closely with the family and they have conducted countless interviews with both family and friends in this investigation. We also want to thank the FBI who partnered with us, Prince William County Police who were out here today helping us search as well as the Fairfax County Fire and Rescue Department and our law enforcement partners in Norfolk, where we also pursued leads uh, with the hopes of finding her. Why wasn't a missing person report put out immediately? There was a um, report of a missing juvenile runaway. Uh, our understanding was that she had voluntarily left her home on her own with no signs of foul play and was classified as a missing runaway juvenile. Were there any other physical searches for Jolie besides the first time that this park was searched? And, and if not, I will check for you on whether there were more than the two searches in this particular park. So what's the difference between the classification for a runaway or a person who you believe to be just regularly missing? I'm just trying to, mm -hmm. for parents who may be watching this, who say, okay, my kid has been missing for a few days, but oh, there may be some signs that she may still be around or she's a runaway. When should they be concerned? I'm just trying to, for their purposes. We'll get you the, the breakdown between the, the definition of a runaway and a missing person, but her classification was a missing juvenile runaway based on the facts that I've shared with you, that she walked out of her home voluntarily and that there were no signs of foul play.
It seems that police, uh, over this uh, search of the, the time that Julie was missing, had tried to downplay the concern of the family. That she didn't bring clothes with her, that she was talking with somebody that may have been suspicious. Uh, why did that happen? And is there a sense that uh, not enough urgency was given to this case? Detectives have been working this case since the moment it was reported to us. Uh, Jolie disappeared or left her home on uh, Saturday, January 13th at 6.30. She was first reported missing to us on Sunday. At that point, which was a holiday weekend, detectives began doing interviews with the family and began their rounds of interviews with friends as well. In some cases, those friends cooperated with the investigation. In other cases, they did not. So there has been uh, an intense amount of work done by our detectives, and that work will continue as we are working the scene tonight and will throughout the weekend and until this apparent homicide is closed. Julie, your department on first. any other updates in this investigation as we get them in, but for at this point, this early in this investigation, we're going to leave it at that. Do you regret Thank listing you her as a runaway? A person of interest that's an acquaintance of Jolie's. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, Julie Parker, who is the public information officer for Fairfax County Police, confirming that uh, tentatively identifying the body of the... Uh, the body found here in this park in Alexandria as that of 16-year-old Jolie Musa. Jolie Musa has been missing for exactly two weeks. She left her home, walked out voluntarily, as uh, Julie Parker said, and uh, was reported missing the next day when her family realized that she was missing and they didn't know where she was. They thought she'd been spending the night at a friend's house. So police came in then on the, that Saturday but the family feels like they didn't take it seriously that she was missing and they were very worried about uh, who she might have been with. The fact that uh, she had been, uh, her twin sister said she had been Snapchatting with uh, a strange man and said, I'll be right back, did not take any bags with her, did not take any makeup with her or hair, uh, anything at all. Not even a charging cord for her phone, which uh, was dead then the, the following day. So it brings up a lot of questions. Why would police classify her as a runaway? Is it just the simple fact of a teenager walking out of the door and not coming home? What if it, what if the person was 10 years old? I mean, what is the classification? We still have many, many questions uh, here that we would like to have answered. Um, we don't know how long the body was here. Uh, Fairfax County Police saying that officers have been in this park twice. This was the second time they came. Uh, Julie Parker said she couldn't exactly uh, pinpoint when they were here the first time. She said it was in uh, the days after Jolie Musa was reported missing. But this is uh, very disturbing, upsetting, heartbreaking news. Uh, I've been talking to the family for the last two weeks, <sighs> hoping that we would find this girl. We would help find this girl by getting the word out on uh, with her face and her name and her story that someone would see her and that. Uh, she would be brought home uh, safe and sound, but um, I've covered many missing children's stories, and this is not um, not the ending I was hoping for at all. Uh, the family told me earlier today that they knew it was her because police had seen her infinity tattoo on her shoulder, and you can see that same tattoo in the posters that have been uh, put out there. The FBI got involved in this um, last week, uh, but family um, was critical, but they didn't want to be too critical of police because they, they didn't want to antagonize them in, in, in getting their search. But, I mean, detectives have been out. We know they've put out, uh, out the notices uh, for a missing girl, for missing uh, Jolie Musa, and they've been out searching. So, you know, still a lot of questions to ask. How long has the body been here? What happened to her? How was, how was she? Is, they, they call it a homicide. So the body has been taken to the medical examiner's office and uh, they'll find out what she died from. And then police are going to have to have to find out who did it. I do know on Monday I interviewed Jolie's mom, Sarita Stewart, and um, 
when I was interviewing her upstairs, I know the FBI came over to do swabs uh, on the family, which is uh, routine, very routine for the FBI to, you know, look at the family members and eliminate them or whatever to look at that. Uh, Jolie also uh, had had a boyfriend. Family members uh, said that they had talked to him. They didn't think he had anything to do with it. Uh, he had, there was a little bit of uh, some difficulties she had with him, some ab ab abuse according to the family. So that's something that uh, police are going to be looking at. But I'm sure they're also going to, they have, they have been trying to find out what's on her phone. Snapchat's very difficult though, because there's no way to, to trace uh, what people say on Snapchat. But again, if you're just, uh, if you're just tuning in, this is very disturbing news. This morning around 11 o'clock, police found a body in these woods here in the Alexandria section of Fairfax County. It was the body of a teenage girl hidden under uh, debris and leaves. And just moments ago, Fairfax County Police confirmed that uh, the body has been tentatively identified as 16-year-old Jolie Musa, who has been missing for two weeks. It's heartbreaking news for the family. I was over at the house earlier today as, um, as they were finding out about it, and lots of grief, lots of anguish, lots of tears. Uh, so my heart goes out, and I see everybody writing in, everybody's... Uh, so sad that this is uh, this is how this ended but I appreciate everybody uh, sharing all of this sharing the stories trying to get the word out I know everybody were everybody was hoping that we would find Jolie alive and well hey, um, we, need to go try to talk. we uh, we're gonna have more tonight at 11 o'clock my colleague Mike Valerio is over at the um, family's house the Musa house um, and see if they want to uh, say anything else. But um, very, very, very heartbreaking news. Well, I'm sure the Fairfax County Police will be uh, providing more information as this uh, investigation continues and we learn more information about how she died. I'm going to sign off now. And thanks again for all your support on Facebook.